time on the Gentiles. Glory to God. I don't know about you, but I'm going to help you find out what the blessing of Abraham is. Glory. I feel the Holy Ghost tonight. Glory to God. Come on, somebody, just open your mouth and just worship him for a few seconds. The Bible says he hath, he hath redeemed us. He hath redeemed us. It's past tense. This thing has already happened. That's why some of you, that's why you're struggling like you are because the curse is operating in your life. The devil is trying to take advantage of your ignorance, but the devil can't take advantage of you. Another second, my God, because you're finding out your rights tonight. Can somebody just open your mouth and say, devil, I've been redeemed. I'm not going to stay poor. I'm not going to stay broke. I'm not going to stay in sin. I'm not going to stay sick. Because with his stripes, we are healed. My God, I say we've been redeemed. The word redeemed means we've been bought back. We've been purchased back. Can somebody shout, I belong to Jesus. Can someone shout it again? I belong to the Lord Jesus. I'll never be broke another day in my life. I'm not going to be poor. I'm not going to be in bondage to sin. I'm not going to be in bondage to sickness. That's why if you have cancer, it has to leave your body because with his stripes you are healed can somebody shout yes the Bible said he died that the blessing of Abraham may come on the Gentiles you have access tonight can you speak those words out say God I claim the blessing of Abraham I claim it right now I said I claim it come on somebody said I claim it right now I claim the blessing of Abraham I claim it right now in the name of Jesus I feel the fire of the Holy Ghost glory to God come on somebody claim it I'm gonna help you understand what the blessing of Abraham is but just come on claim it by faith Come on, claim it by faith. The Bible says, let me go back to that. The Bible says Jesus died. That the blessing of Abraham, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles. You see that? Through Jesus Christ. My God, if you're saved, if you are born again, if you've been washed in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, the blessing of Abraham belongs to you. The Bible says we are joined heirs with Jesus Christ. That means if Christ has access to it, we got access to it. And the Bible plainly says it here that he died, he became a curse, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Christ Jesus. What is the blessing of Abraham? The word blessing means to speak well of. The word blessing also means to invoke something on somebody. Listen to this. The blessing of Abraham, it's actually found in Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 14. We're we going to go there next. But it, it originated in Genesis chapter 12, verses 1, 2, and 3. Listen to this. Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee, and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. Pay attention to this, because this is hot stuff here. He said, and I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that cursed thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Are you paying attention to this original blessing of Abraham? Let me read this thing again. This is the original blessing of Abraham, that Christ died, that this exact same blessing that God first gave to Abraham in Genesis 12, verse 1, 2, and 3, so that this exact same blessing that God invoked on Abraham through Christ's death on the cross, he invoked it on us, the Gentiles, but it's on those that have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of their life. Look at what the Bible says here verse 2 of Genesis 12 and I will make of thee a great nation and I will bless thee and make your name great it's the will of God to make your name great glory to God it's a part of the blessing of Abraham you are not just a you are not just a little nobody sub somewhere in a corner you are somebody that God's about to raise up you are somebody that the world is about to hear your name because he told Abraham this is part of the blessing I'm giving you I'm gonna make your name great why don't you say to yourself they're about to hear about me they're about to find 
find out exactly who I am. Why? Because the blessing of Abraham has been transferred on me. Glory to God. I'm about to preach myself happy tonight. I suck another of us up. It says that, and I will make your name greater, and thou shalt be a blessing. Then he goes on to say, and I will bless them that bless you. Glory to God. Anybody that blesses you, anyone that speaks well of you, anyone that stands with you, anyone that gets behind you, anybody that believes in you, God said, I'll get behind them. If they bless you, I'll bless them. If they speak well of you, I'll speak well of them. If they help you, I'll help them. Glory to God. But on the other hand, here's another part of the blessing of Abraham. He says, but I'll curse them that curse you. Glory to God. He says, I'll curse them that curse you. If they speak bad about you, if they fight against you, God says, I'll fight against them. Your enemies is my enemies. Glory to God. That's a part of the blessing of Abraham. They better be careful how they treat you. They better be careful what they say about you. They better be careful. Why? Because the blessing of Abraham, this exact blessing that God invoked on Abraham is still good today. I said God told Abraham in the book of Genesis chapter 17, God said to Abraham, this blessing that I'm putting on you, this is going to be alive and it's going to exist to all generations. My God. God, it's alive right now. Can somebody shout, I'm blessed? Can someone shout, I'm blessed? Glory, Let me show you what the blessing of Abraham is. Let's just go a little deeper into it. I see the Holy Ghost getting ready to fight for someone right now. I see God putting on his armor and he's about to fight against them that's fighting against you. My God, they're wasting their time. No weapon that's formed against you shall be able to prosper and every tongue that rises against you in judgment it shall be condemned. Why? Because you are the seed of Abraham. You are the blessed of the Lord. You are walking in the blessing of Abraham. My God, your situation it's about to be turned around supernaturally by the power of God. He said it's not by might, it's not by human power or ability but it's by my spirit says God. It's by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. My God, somebody about to come out. God's getting ready to bring someone out. God's getting ready to turn your situation around. God said I heard your cry. I've seen your tears and I'm about to deliver you. I'm about to turn your situation around. Glory to God. Can somebody help me praise him tonight? I feel the anointing. I said I feel it tonight. I feel a breakthrough. Can somebody shout breakthrough? I feel a miracle anointing. I feel like God is about to put his hands on somebody impossible situation and make it possible. He's about to break open the doors for you to walk through it. My God, somebody praise him tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My God, we've been redeemed. I said we've been redeemed. We've been redeemed from sin. We've been redeemed from sickness. We've been redeemed from poverty. Poverty is not our lot in life. Failure is not our lot in life. We're supposed to be successful. We're supposed to prosper. We're supposed to be healed. My God, watch this. Let's go into the full blessing of Abraham here. Listen to this thing. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 through 14. I want you to listen to this. This is the blessing of Abraham that's still alive today. I know the scriptures in the Old Testament, but Jesus Christ transferred it and brought it into the New Testament when he said, when the Bible says Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles. My God, we weren't even a part of the original family of Abraham, but through Jesus Christ, we are part. We are part. The Bible says in Galatians 3.29, the Bible says, if you belong to Christ, then are you Abraham's seed. Glory to God. God, man, I'm getting excited over this of you. I feel the Holy Ghost tonight. I said, if you belong to Jesus, then are you Abraham's seed. And the exact same blessing that God gave to Abraham, natural seed, he gave it to Abraham, spiritual seed. Because the Bible says in Galatians 3, the Bible says, then those who are of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. That means the same exact blessing that God gave to Abraham. It belongs to me and you. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Listen to this. 
and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently under the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. My God, are you listening to the blessings of Abraham? And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Blessed shall thou be in the city and blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body and blessed shall be the fruit of thy ground and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. Are you listening to this? Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in. Blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before your face. They shall come out against thee one way, but they gonna flee seven different ways. My God, somebody shout I'm blessed. Can somebody shout I'm blessed? The Bible says the Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses and in all that thou settest thine hand on. Your storehouse represent your bank account, your checking account, your savings account, your investments. My God, are you listening to me? And in all that thou settest thine hand unto. And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. The Lord shall establish thee a holy people unto himself as he hath sworn unto thee if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God and walk in his ways. And all the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord and they shall be afraid of thee. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods. My God, can somebody shout increase? Can can somebody shout I'm blessed? Can someone shout I'm on my way out? Can someone shout I'm on my way up? My God, we are blessed people of God. Can you hear me tonight? You are not broke. You are not a little flea. You are not a grasshopper. You are somebody in God. I say you've been redeemed from the curse. Can somebody shout bless? I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. I'm blessed coming in. I'm blessed going out. My children are blessed. Whatever I put my hands on is blessed. The windows of heaven is open unto me because I'm blessed. I'm anointed, I'm appointed. I'm the prosperous of the Lord. I'm blessed and I'm highly favored. My God, somebody shouted, I'm blessed. Why? Because Christ has redeemed us and became a curse for us. Because the Bible says curse is everyone that hangs on a tree that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. I'm blessed. I said I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. And if nobody can see it, just tell them hang on a little while longer any day now God's about to manifest the blessings on my life glory I'm blessed come on somebody come on blessed people I'm preaching to somebody tonight I said come on blessed people can somebody shout I'm blessed somebody shout I'm blessed Somebody shouted, I'm blessed. Everything I put my hands on, I got the Midas touch. I say, I got the Midas touch. My God, listen to what it says here in verse 12 of Deuteronomy 28. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his season, and to bless all the work of thy hand. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail and thou shalt be above only and thou shalt not be beneath if thou shalt hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God which I command thee this day to observe and to do them and thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day to the right hand or to the left my God somebody shout I'm blessed can somebody shout I'm blessed listen to this this is my fourth point here evidence of the blessings of Abraham at work. Listen to this, that blessing that God gave to Abraham in Genesis 12 verse 1, 2, and 3. Abraham's servant detailed the blessing of Abraham when he went to search for a wife for Isaac. After the Holy Ghost led him to the right people and to Isaac's wife, Abraham's servant sat down with this family. And I thank God for Abraham's servant because he led us in on a huge secret. Listen to this. Listen to what Abraham's servant said. Genesis chapter 24, verse 34 through 36. And he said, I am Abraham's servant. And the Lord has blessed 